Hundreds gathered at Gillette Stadium today for a memorial service honoring the seven bikers killed in that devastating crash in New Hampshire last month. Among those killed, 59-year-old Daniel Pereira of Riverside. Today's memorial was all to benefit the families of those victims. And in attendance was also Patriots owner Robert Kraft. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us now live tonight with a look at today's touching tribute. Eric. Okay, people came from all around the country for today's celebration of life, and club leaders say it's now not only about remembering the victims, but also supporting their families, whose lives have forever been changed. Family members and friends of the seven victims are still coming to grips with life without their loved ones. The names of the Jarheads Motorcycle Club members killed are on a wooden flag from New Hampshire that was brought to Gillette Stadium's parking lot Saturday. Mom and Dad's not coming home. My husband's not coming home. No, they're just not coming home. Manny Ribeiro is president of the Jarheads Motorcycle Club. It's made up of Marine veterans and their spouses. One of the members killed was a man from Riverside, Daniel Pereira. One couple was from Lakeville, Joanne and Edward Corr. It's not just about seven people who died. That's tragedy enough. Left behind. Hundreds, including some from around the country, visited Saturday to show support. Richard Stewart came from Mississippi with a cross he made for the victims. It's still like you say living under a tree. They just can't believe it happened. But it did, and it was tragic. Other visitors were local, like Robert Kraft, who pledged at least $100,000 towards fundraising efforts for the families. The riders were killed in New Hampshire back in June in a crash with a pickup truck pulling a trailer. According to investigators, the truck was driven by Vladimir Shikovsky, who's pleaded not guilty to negligent homicide charges. It turns out Connecticut had notified Massachusetts about a drunk driving arrest of Shikovsky, but Massachusetts did not suspend his license. It sparked a probe into the RMV, which has since suspended the licenses of more than 1,600 Massachusetts drivers. The involved reckless individuals should never have been licensed to be behind the wheel on that fateful day. And an oversight hearing about the RMV is scheduled for later this month. The Jarhead's president says he expects many of his members will be there. Reporting live, I'm Eric Halperin, Eyewitness News.